I would start like this. First, take change and say transform, because transform has the upward, because you can also change for the worse. Transform has an upward, uh, you transform for the better, as by default. So you're economic with the word there. Now, um, there is a kind of confusion, there is a kind of um, constraint in what you wrote. There are vectors going in different directions. I want to change, but maybe out of fear, I don't have a choice this time, and so forth, and how to do it, and how not to procrastinate, and if I try to change, I don't love myself, and there's a few vectors that go in different uh, directions, and it would be good, first of all, to um, arrange. It would be good with a good friend. You sit for half an hour, one hour, and you just arrange. You make a plan and you put things to go on the same line. What is it that you want to transform? You don't have to transform it. You can suffer and not transform, or you can suffer a bit as you transform and then have it fixed and set and ready for a higher level of existence. But it doesn't need to come from a place of constraint. And then when all this is put together, you can look at the transformation itself as an act of self-love. Why am I doing yoga in the morning? This is love. Eating a cake is self-love. Watching Netflix is self-love. Watching Netflix is putting the... Sleep, 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 sleep. Stop bothering me. Cake, 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 cake. Stop bothering me. Yeah, it's taking whatever pains you have and drugging yourself like you would drug a child. Here, here, here. iPad, 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 chocolate, chocolate. That's not self-love. Self-love is saying, okay, you have a little wound there. Okay, here, we do this 20 minutes every day and we'll be healed. Okay, I know it hurts. I know, I know you hate it. You hate yoga and you hate meditation. I know, but it will heal you. This is actual self-love. So you can take and transfigure and see the spiritual practice as an act of self-love and as an act that can lead you to actual happiness, not to numb happiness. And yes, I mean, there are many ways are offered over there. Find something that clicks with you. If Qigong clicks with you, do Qigong. What we offer here and the path that we know is the path of Tantra. And you can join the online courses. The free yoga courses are now every day. And you can just do that. You click on the computer and do what, we do what they do in the computer. <laughs> Good, you do what they do. Ah, you already feel better. And in time, you will start to enjoy it very, very much. And it will become something very light, something that your heart will want, your body will want, all your being will miss your yoga practice, meditation practice. Once you come to the weekly Tantra courses, you will learn systematically about the chakras. You will see what needs to transform, how to do, half an hour a day, that chakra, those four exercises, good, confidence, done, love, open, and so forth, intuition, clear. So in this way, you can do this uh, very systematic. This is what we offer, Tantra. And if you resonate, you can do that. And if some other path is like much more uh, engaging and makes you more enthusiastic, very good. Follow that. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on spirituality, Tantra and more. And if you want to sign up for our online classes or for our retreats, you can see our website on the description below.